Recently, Aaron Rodgers appeared to voice frustration over the situation, and now another Packers legend, another legendary quarterback, Brett Favre, is coming to his defense. Here's what Favre said. He was playing in a golf tournament, and he said, quote, Aaron will be fine. The question is, how will they handle it with him? I think you let him play his game and not disturb that very much, and it's going to be interesting to see if that happens. I mean, to sort of sum all this up, it appears as though the new coach is coming in there and, and, and for all intents and purposes telling Aaron, you know, all this stuff you're doing at the line of scrimmage, all this time that's been working and made you the best quarterback, one of the best of all time, and certainly the best in the sport right now, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> this that training camp hasn't even started yeah. yet. How do we get to this? Well, Matt LaFleur's uh, approach to that is, is like that. That's dumb. That's number one. <laughs> the second thing is, Aaron Rodgers has to be willing to work with Matt LaFleur as well because there, there is a dynamic beyond the football field that can develop when guys don't think the head coach and our star player not necessarily get along but can't work together, right? Aaron Rodgers should be able to audible. That's, that's, a, that's a, a gone notion. Like, he should be able to go up to the line of scrimmage oh, this play will work against this look and be able to change the play. But you can't start this public display of, I'm going to do my thing and you do your thing and with the other 52 guys. And here's the thing that concerns me the most about it, Bobby. Why do we know about this, right? They haven't even started training camp yet. Why does the world know that this has started this way? Someone wants the world to know that. And like you said, somebody wants the world to know. Who is it? Well, is it LaFour's side? Is it Aaron Rodgers' side? Your quarterback, when he's a Hall of Famer, should have the ability to change every single play at the line of scrimmage at any point in time. Now, that doesn't mean that he should. He should have enough confidence in his coach that he's going to be able to provide him with the play. I'm watching Bill Belichick, Josh McDaniels. They'll get after Tom Brady if he makes an incorrect audible. But Tom always has the ability to change it. And so you have to give him that flexibility. But there has to be that trust. And so somewhere in the middle, and we're going to show you a little bit of this, and we've seen this many times, and it's not just with Josh McDaniels, but we've seen it with, um, with Charlie Weiss used mm -hmm. to yell at Brady sometimes. And, and the, uh, the, 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 uh, the coach now in, in, in Bill uh, Houston, Bill, Bill, Bill O'Brien yelling at him, that you have to be willing to be coached too. So is there both sides of this thing going on at the same time? That he Brady allows himself to be coached, and they allow him the freedom to do what he wants. And that comes down to a respect thing. And all I remember is LeBron James going back to Cleveland and David Blatt's the head coach there. And you're thinking, who's this guy? Like, this guy is – I don't know if he's qualified to work with me. And I feel like Matt LaFleur might be getting a little bit of the David Blatt treatment there because Aaron Rodgers is a presumptive Hall of Famer. The minute he leaves, five years in, he's putting on his gold jacket – You've got to come into him and say, this is what we're trying to do. What do you like? And be able to work with him and develop that relationship. And, and, and that's, that's my point. Like, if, it's not, if those type of conversations are not going on, that's dumb. But to G's point, why are we having this conversation in public? Like, wh why is this stuff out? I'm going to tell you why. Because the, the, the old adage, pride before the fall. Somebody got to be to blame if this thing don't work out in Green Bay. So it's already setting up to either be LaFleur or it's Aaron Rodgers. See, whoa, whoa, whoa. he could well, it's not gonna be Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> but let me let me tell you something. If they lose, there will be a deafening scrutiny to Aaron Rodgers if it comes out that he didn't want to abide by some of the things that Matt LaFleur wanted to do. Being a Hall of Famer doesn't absolve you of that. That's true. Losing will quickly take away that pristine uh, look that you have as a great quarterback. I'm telling y'all, this league is unforgiving. Now, it may only happen for that year and they get back to things, but somebody has to become the black. This, th gee. If I'm doing my psychoanalysis, yes. that's what this looks like to me. Somebody has to be blamed if this thing doesn't work out. Well. I understand that, but in season, has, the training camp hasn't even started yet. Why are we setting someone up to take the blame if it doesn't go well when we're still hoping it'll go very well? Because we've had OTAs. We've had mini camp. Someone's These guys not have worked together, so, yeah. and maybe Aaron isn't liking the calls. Maybe Matt LaFleur isn't liking the way that Aaron is running some of the plays. And this is why you get that rub and friction that comes out now to plant the groundwork, the seeds, for if they start off two and three, but whose fault is it? Just lie. <laughs> just lie and say it's fine. It's we working together. Everything will be fine by the time yeah. we get to the season. Correct. But Honestly, just lie. Is, just honest. lie for the good for the good of, of everything. Just lie. That's exactly right. In this case, dishonesty is the best policy. <laughs>
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.